By Executive Order N2920 issued on March 18, 2020, NMUSD board meetings will be closed to the public. This is a special meeting beginning um, call to order at 8.30. We will have an opening ceremonies, a moment of reflection and pledge to the flag led by Trustee Wigan. Please rise. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Trustee Yelsey. Here. Trustee Barto. Trustee Matoye. Here. Trustee Anderson. Trustee Crane. Here. Trustee Ursulu. Here. Trustee Wigand. Here. Adoption of the agenda. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Crane, seconded by Trustee Matoye. Roll call. Trustee Yelsey. Yes. Trustee Barto. Trustee Matoye. Yes. Trustee Anderson. Trustee Crane. Yes. Trustee Ursulu. Yes. Trustee Wigand. Yes. Community input on special agenda items only. Trustee Matoye. Speakers wishing to address the board on special agenda items have submitted the appropriate comment card on the district website by yesterday's deadline of June 14th at 5 p.m. <laughs> Comments on agenda items are limited to three minutes per comment, up to 30 minutes per topic. A speaker may not relinquish his or her time to another person. And we have one comment, so I will turn it over to Susan Fish to call on the speaker. Miss Lees, um, you have three minutes. If you could uh, go ahead and begin uh, and unmute yourself. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, good morning. Thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate everyone's hard work to get us through a very difficult year. Uh, the legal description of the subject of your closed session, as always, whether it be city council or school board, is somewhat mysterious and not really friendly to public input, but I think it intentionally always excludes taxpayers who are interested in commenting. That said, I have two comments moving forward. I want to see our Newport Mesa public schools continue to strive for excellence for all kids. People are leaving California, they're homeschooling, they're going to charter schools and private schools. As a 49 year resident of Costa Mesa and an educator, I currently teach, as you know, at College Hospital, sadly, where kids are there because they're suicidal, cutting, depressed and anxious. And most of them will go back to public schools. Uh, these precious children uh, will continue their educations, hopefully with more support. Regarding the superintendent selection, rather than push the survey out to a narrow constituency, please broaden your reach. Your PR person should be posting news releases in the pilot, online stew news, et cetera, next door, social med media. Our taxpayers in Newport Mesa have always cared about the quality of our uh, schools because they're right embedded in our little neighborhoods. And our, our community in Newport Mesa is stronger because of our public schools. And it's imperative that you reach out and hear from a broad community. The survey on the website, I looked at it last night, is hard to find. It's, it's buried. It should be an ad. It should be something easy for somebody to find to weigh in. Also, have you looked at your app recently? It's so inefficient. I, I, there's nothing on there about today's meeting. There's nothing on there about the superintendent survey. It, if, it really needs attention so that people who are using apps um, can can fill out the survey. You know, we're not meeting in person, and I think the district needs to go the extra mile to really reach out to the community to get input on a new superintendent. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good meeting. There are no more speakers, um, Ms. Amezwa. 
Okay. Correct, no more speakers. We will now move to closed session. The item is public employee appointment, employment, interim superintendent. We will not return to this public webinar. Thank you.